All right, task management. Let's have a look at the Colab.org 3.3 web client and how it can assist you and your team in being productive and getting things done. We log in as Alice and we head over to the tasks part of the web client. As we can see, it is split in three. On the top left, we have the tag cloud. Underneath, we have the task lists, which we can select for a few. That's the little check boxes you see. And from those task lists, the tasks are shown here in the main part of the screen. Some of these tasks have little blue lines underneath. That is the actual fulfillment of the task, how complete it is. We can expand and collapse this all, and we can also sort it according to do, start, flagged, progress, and last, modified. That can be done ascending or descending at will. We also see dates associated to those tasks. Those are the due dates, and they are very easily edited, like so. Let's add one here. And since this task is shared with someone else, we do it together, we can also notify them by email, like so. Now, on top of that list, you actually see a set of filters that allows you to filter the view on your tasks in your current view. Now, for instance, we look at only tasks that are assigned to us, and we can also check other filters like no date, later, assigned, complete. Let's have a look at those due tomorrow or today, those flagged, and open this back up because we want to look at tags. Now, tags work orthogonal to everything else. You can have one or multiple tags per task, and they show up automatically then in the tag cloud. And the tag cloud also shows you the count of tags, so the number of occurrences of that tag in your current view, and you can narrow it down like so. We have the task lists here, which we can change as we want. We can add more or remove some, of course. And we can also narrow this down only to the task list we are currently interested in, in order to focus ourselves on only working on, say, our work tasks, personal tasks, or say we're working on project X, so we only want to see those tasks and nothing else. The task lists themselves, of course, are also shared across the system, so we can look for projects in this quick view, but we can also look for other users who may have shared their task lists with us. Say Bob here has shared three of his task lists with us, all of which are read-only. Um, that is not necessarily the case. We can also share this with other users or groups in read-write fashion, such as the professional tasks here of Dave, who has given Alice write permission. And that allows us very easily to structure our task workload overall. We can edit tasks like so. We have a start and a due date. Let's set that to the 9th of September. We have completion status. Let's say we've worked on this feature a little bit already. And um, we can then also set, say, the tags or edit the description. We have recurrences there as well. And we can do assignments, which is exactly what we want to do right now. So let's assign this to Bob. So we look for Bob in the system. System finds Bob for us. And we assign this task to him. Now we save the task and you see that actually we've now sent an email to Bob so he finds in his inbox the assignment of this task. In all these places we can always do drag and drop so we can restructure our tasks like so um, across hierarchies as well so we can create hierarchies simply by dragging one task onto another and um, so this allows us very easily to dynamically change our task view. From the management perspective, since Alice is the manager here, um, there's also the Assign tab that's very interesting because this shows us which users we have assigned tasks to. In this case, for instance, we've just assigned this to Bob, but this one has been assigned to Charles. And of course, there could be any a number of other users in there. So this allows us to keep an eye on what exactly it is um, we have assigned to whom, so we can follow up and see whether everything is proceeding as planned. Now let's log out for a second and log in as Bob to see how the receiving end of that email looks. So here's Bob, we log him into the system. And in his inbox now we see that the garbage task we have updated 
in fact, has an update notice for Bob because he was the other person on that task. So we can now record that in our own task list. And for feature 324, we see we can accept or decline that delegation and also choose to save it in one of our task folders so we can structure this for ourselves as it makes sense for our personal organization. Let's have a quick look over to the tasks now. So here we see them as we would expect. And the development tag that this task had also carried over to Bob so we can actually um, have tagging that gets transferred through the assignment. So we find this in Bob's task list all as we would expect. Now let's actually say we've done the work. So we set this to complete. And we notify Alice by email. And now she knows the task is done. This is, by the way, is how completed tasks show up in the task list. And that's it for today. For more information, go to colab.org.